What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video in the truck. I haven't done this in a while. All right, it's been like a couple months since I've actually taken a video in the truck, but we got some things to talk about today. Uh, I haven't uploaded a video in like over uh, over a week and I, I apologize. I've been really like distracted with other things um, and a lot of thinking has been going on in my head. So I haven't really had like the uh, sort of concentration to work on a video. I've been so focused on other things uh, with, with the car and just in general that I've been kind of sidetracked. I apologize. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. But like, so we have some things to talk about. So let's just hop right into that. Obviously the splitter's done. Okay. <laughs> and I'm still making people mad over it, which is freaking hysterical. So many people are upset about it and I don't really care. All right. I don't care. <laughs> I will say one thing. A lot of people say I need seat time before I do mods and I'm going to straight up be honest with you and not candy coat anything. I know that, but I don't care. I really don't care. I'm gonna do it my way anyway. And the big thing is, is I like to see everything on the outside first. That way I know I'm getting somewhere. I'm the type of person where like, if I started with all the engine first, I wouldn't feel like I was getting anywhere because like you can't see engine mods, okay? You just can't. I like to see things. So no matter what it is, if it's a game, if it's anything that I do, not even just a car thing, if it's anything, I like to do the stuff that I can see first because it makes me feel like I'm getting somewhere. It unmotivates me to start with things that I can't see. So that's why I do that. Like straight up, that's exactly why I do that. All right, and a lot of people don't understand. Maybe they will now, but I just, I, I always like to start with exterior things first. Like I said, not even just with cars, with everything. So that's why I'm doing all this first. Uh, and I just don't care about following procedure. I'm gonna break the rules, I don't care. Another quick side note, real quick. I do know that on my first track day, uh, to be very conservative with how I drive, okay? I'm not gonna be Mr. Macho Man and start f sending my Civic around corners because it's built right or whatever and then wreck. I understand that I can't do that, okay? I understand I need to build the confidence first and know how the car handles and stuff. I'm not gonna full on send it thinking I have a freaking full on race car, all right? I know that, I know I don't, okay? I know I don't and I know that I'm a new driver on track. I get it, all right? I'm not trying to be all Mr. Big Shot and show off, okay? I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to build a nice, badass daily that I, I track car that I can daily that you know that's just the main purpose of it the whole point of this build is to have a freaking sick daily that like looks wicked I can take to the track but it's built to my standards I just want to say this uh I'm not building this car for show or to like show off it's it's not like a car that I'm building for ego I guess if you could say which is why I don't care about the flaws that are in it right now uh, because it's a work in progress, and like I said, I don't, I don't need this car for my ego. All right, a lot of people in the car community build their cars to have an ego. Like, let me tell you something. Almost everybody that was hating on my splitter, I, I all had the same build, okay? And if you ask me, all they're doing is pretty much, I'm going to build a car so I fit into society and have friends and a self-esteem. And if you're gonna do that, don't talk to me. You're not you're not valid, okay? Because obviously you care more about your status than anything. Uh, I don't care about status. I don't care. I don't care. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but like the amount of followers that I have mean nothing to me. First of all, I also followed a lot of people to get that anyway. But I know a lot of people that like get like Instagram popular so they feel better. That does not matter to me at all. Like it does not. Like the amount of followers I have does not matter. How my car looks does not matter. If it, if I like it and I'm proud of it, that's different. I'm not trying to build a car to show off though that's not why i'm building i'm building it for me to have a fun daily i just want to get out of the way all right because a lot of people are really bent about what i'm doing to my car and i don't i'm not trying to make a show car if y'all don't like it then that's your problem not mine anyway i'm sorry i'm sorry i wanted to get it out of the way okay i i just did because a lot of some people just don't understand also it's not done yet stop thinking i'm done with the car yet i'm not done yet so you're saying you can't track it like that i know that i'm sorry okay now i'm done all right, so as far as updates, I'm gonna say this: the splitter has been uh, re, uh, kind of cut and like kind of redesigned and pushed back. Um, when I first made it, the first gen of it, when it was just a big square, um, I'm not gonna lie, I, it did look kind of ridiculous. I liked it because it looked ridiculous, but that's where no one hated it, and or everyone hated it. And um, I fixed it because I realized that parking is gonna be an absolute pain in the ass with that. So I. Uh, I was like, I need to fix that. And it does look better, like with the corners. Um, and then, on the way home one night, 
someone's trailer left a tree branch in the middle of the road and I hit it. So it bent the splitter mount. So I had to push it back anyway because of regulations, but even still the splitter is still out of the regulations. I had to push it back anyway, so it worked out. So whatever. So the splitter's now pushed back a lot. It's a lot more uh, conservative, which is a good thing. So, you know, I'm glad that the splitter is conservative. Um, and it, again, it's still, like I say, it's still not uh, legal for my class. It's too big on the sides. I understand that. Uh, and that's fine with me. I'm gonna have to either cut it or if I don't think it's gonna last to the track day, I just don't. I don't think it's going to, whether I'm gonna hit something else or the rain's gonna get to it. It already has a little bit of rain damage and I resealed it, I redid everything, but it's plywood. Like, I, that's, and that's what I'm saying. Like I, I knew that from the start. I, I even said it in my last video, I'm accepting of the fact that it's probably gonna get wrecked, but I wanted to try anyway because like, I failed as 10 times more of a man than saying what if. I tried and I don't care if it fails. People can laugh at me. At least I did something with my life. That's just it. The next splitter I'll make will be out of either marine plywood or ABS plastic. Maybe. It really depends though because I really like using plywood. It has a lot of good benefits for the track. But, you know, I got to remember from a daily standpoint, it's not the smartest decision. But... Again, whatever. Like I, people, they, I told you so. Well, I tried anyway, so deal with it. Uh, now here's here's the big update. So y'all remember, or maybe you remember how I mentioned that I'm going to be going to Georgia eventually, and I was thinking around this summertime. How about next month? Yeah. So you know, this sounds very irresponsible of me. I'm so sorry. Let's just say that I'm getting a tax return that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I'm not spending all of it. I'm saving some of it. I promise you. But like, it, it does sound kind of irresponsible to me. I have a savings, but I'm not trying to spend the savings. Okay. So I got tires on the way. All right. I got brand new tires. They're nothing fancy. They're Vercelli Strata 2s. They're, it's, it's an off-brand tire. Really good tire from what I know. It, they grip very well. They last. You know, I, I don't need an expensive tire on my daily. I drive a lot. So I have some nice Vercellis coming in. That'll be... Here next week should be mounted and I should have my alignment done so that'll be good which means tires are already out of the way I still have a savings and my tax return looking kind of juicy um, and I want to get this wing done because now that I have a splitter uh, the amount of downforce I make in the front at, a, at like 90 miles an hour is really kind of scary because every time I turn the wheel a little bit the whole car wants to just dart right into the corner or wherever I'm going and um, it feels good, but now the, t the the rear is kind of tail heavy because I don't have any weight in there. The trunk's gutted, the seats are out. You know, now I have so much force in the front that when I'm go doing 90, it just wants to freaking. It's just bad. Plus my alignment's kind of off anyway, but still, uh, the wing will balance it not only with aero but also just like like appearance wise, it'll look better physically. So the wing is gonna be happening very soon. I'm thinking by the end of May, it'll actually be on the car. Uh, April 19th, which is in about 20 days to about three weeks, um, is I think the date, as long as my schedule stays the same, that I'll be heading up to Georgia to Nine Lives Racing. I will go give, uh, pay them a visit and they will scan my trunk, blah, 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 design the wing for me. And I think they said four to six weeks is when I could pick it up. I don't remember. It was something like that. So either way, the point is though, we're making progress. So the wing is going to be here a lot sooner than than I thought. Oh, but Jesse, you need to get wheels on your car and you need all this and that. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, I know. Wheels will be the next thing after the wing, I promise. Again, baby steps, guys, all right? I'm not trying to blow money. I'm trying to make sure I'm saving, all right? And being responsible and paying stuff off because obviously being responsible with money is a lot more important than buying wheels for a car, okay? I know, I know I'm building a track car, but I, that's not really relevant to my financial situation. And if y'all watched some of my first videos ever on this channel, I was pretty screwed about three months ago or four months well like five months ago I was pretty screwed up because I was irresponsible with money and I'm not doing that again I'm not putting myself in that spot anymore I learned my lesson so I'm being conservative the point is though the wing will be happening sooner than later I got new tires coming as well I need a wheel bearing for my car my uh, my driver's side front is really like every time I make a hard left it makes like a low pitched grinding noise um, only when I'm on the throttle though when I'm just coasting it doesn't so it's kind of weird but um, I think I need a wheel bearing, so that's going to be happening also sometime within the next couple months. Other than that, the car's still good. Um, a lot to do with the build, guys. We're not, we're nowhere near it. Like I said, we, you know, we're nowhere near it being done. There's still a lot of work to do. Um, and it's, it, thinking about all the work I have to do is like, oh my god, it's kind of daunting, but hey, that's what happens when you have a hobby, especially in the cars, man. They take a while. They're time consuming, they're money consuming, and, you know, if you want it done right, you're going to have to wait longer, so... 
you know, it, it is what it is, but we're, it's quality build, all right, even though people disagree with that, I don't really give a shit, uh, we're gonna get somewhere, all right, guys, we're gonna get somewhere, so I just wanted to make this video as an update, all right, I, like I said, I'm sorry for not uploading, uh, the next video, I'll probably upload more of the splitter, like where it's at right now, if it's not torn off the car, <laughs> as long as it's not wrecked, okay, and then I'll, I'll probably make my next video reviewing the splitter, how it looks, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but for now, this is it. I just wanted to give an update on what's going on. So, uh, I'm still doing good. It's supposed to rain today, like a lot, and I hope it holds up. It should. It should. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, at highway speeds, it does fantastic. I've done over 70, just a little bit over 70 with it, and it holds. It holds. So, as far as the, uh, the you know, the structural rigidity of it, and like the supports and everything, it's fine. I mean, I've... I've tested it pretty good, I would say, and it does. it's not coming off. The biggest uh, threat to it is water and hitting something. So, but hey, like I said, I knew it was going to happen. I knew that, or I knew that there's a huge risk to things when it comes to plywood too for a daily. I knew that. I understood it. I did it anyway, and you know what? I'm not mad about it. If it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. At least I have all the mounts and stuff, so... Not that big of a deal. Anyway, I just want to make this video as an update to keep the channel alive and whoever's still watching to uh you know just give them a little little uh little update on how things are going so like i said next video will be on the splitter itself stay tuned the wing will be happening soon and like i said that trip to georgia will be happening in about three weeks so as long as everything goes to plan georgia in three weeks so thank you as always for watching guys you guys are amazing i appreciate you those who still support me and don't hate me after my wood splitter <laughs> you're a real one for that uh those who hate me because of it oh, i'm so sorry i'm Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next video. As always, stay awesome. And remember, kids, if you want a splitter, make it out of wood because wood is the best material you could ever use.